you know, I am starting up the game, but I'm sitting here kind of just jamming out because I forgot how much I legitimately just like this song. Angry Squirrels. Hey, Vamp, how are you? I'm playing uh, Infamous Second Son. You ever play it? Actually, you know what? I'm feeling a, it's a webcam day, I think, you know? I think it's a day I turn on the webcam. What you think? <laughs> Tilt it up a little bit so you can see the council. I actually, this is gonna be a controversial take. I think it might be uh, my favorite infamous game. Not because it's the best, but just for the way it handles and looks. Everything about this game just fits my vibe and aesthetic, I think. And we're actually gonna mute its music so that I can run around on my own. Hello down there. You were all ants to me. Like, I will not argue that it's a better game than, uh, than Infamous 1, but I do, I do think it is actually my favorite. We're actually gonna do the main story mission. Yeah, sure. Sure, I'm down to jump in disc. Just give me a second. Because I don't know that I've got Discord open. Yeah, I don't mind having a co-host. Normally, if I'm live, I'm perfectly okay to have someone jump in with me. I am gonna have to adjust my volume settings, because you were very loud on my end last time. But I reckon that should do it. on over here. I hope myself lose too much height. Oh, the channel that I watch, I automatically popped in there. <laughs> yeah. uh, one of those things is some of my artwork has been shown on there too, so that's kind of neat. Yeah. I'm glad to hear you're getting uh, some support in places. I think it's important to have people who support you around, you know? Hypothetical. I admit, I may not be the greatest artist in the world. I have my own kind of style. Listen, I'm I'm gonna say what I'm gonna say from a place of niceness. Your style is rough, but I think that you could be really good at art. You know? The main kind of gives me a... It's weird is just looking at my own art style, right? Yeah. I get it. I used to draw and... Like... I don't know, forming your own style is important, too. It's it's kind of weird, as if I were to describe my style, and this is just me going up here, it's German Expressionism meets Manga. I don't even know what I would have described my style as, except for the fact that I really like sharp angles, even on things that weren't supposed to necessarily have sharp angles. <laughs> weird, because I do that a lot. <laughs> the whole sharp angle thing? Yeah, uh, it's, it's one of those things, German expressionism as an art form is interesting. I'm, get, I'm getting a phone call in the game. Hey Betty, how are you? Uh, did you notice when you were playing through, that is the theme for, uh, I think Sly 4's, uh, main, like, intro screen. Really? Yep. His little ringtone. Oh, uh, yeah. There are a lot of Sly Cooper yeah, references it is. in this. Yep. Holy crap. <laughs> I, I have played and 100 percent of this game so many times, I didn't piece it together until I was playing last night on stream. Like, I started this game yesterday on stream, and I was like, is that... Is that actually the Sly 4 theme? And I was only thinking about it, because before Quasar left, we got into a mild discussion about Sly Cooper. And he's never played them, really, but he watched me play uh, Sly 4 for a right. little while. Because I love the Sly Cooper games. They're probably one of my favorite game series. And so... 
I was thinking I, we had just talked about it, and I was like, what is, what is Sly 4's theme? And I heard the ringtone, and I was like, that's motherfucking Sly 4. <laughs> right? I mean, there's so many different things that you could uh, take from those, too. It, it's hilarious in its own way. Well, I mean, he, they've got murals of Sly all over the city. Okay, that's where the little girl is, and I'm near the other sewer, too, so, okay. I figured out where yeah, the hunters, don't like other people playing with their you know, hunters that oh, is no. issue yeah. is we lost the lives down there. I had over yeah, a thousand yeah, blood echoes and I died. Like I, I am officially getting into the part of the game I don't know so well. So, uh, like I'm in fucking forbidden woods fighting all the goddamn snake monsters. <laughs> and that's fun. I oh, love okay. the snake monsters. I don't. I don't- okay, I like snakes. I don't know what it is about the snake monsters, I just don't like. Oh wait, I'm doing this wrong. I don't like snake monsters either. Well, they're just giant piles of snakes, and something about it, it makes me go, nope, don't like that one, not one bit. Okay, so I'm- I just picked up six blood piles off a dead guy, thank god. There's certain things I wasn't able to grab earlier due to things. It happens. So, uh, how far are you? Have you made it past Gascon yet? No, but I am grinding to uh, make myself overpowered so I can deal with the dumb <laughs> That is an option. There's nothing saying that you're not allowed to just overlevel yourself for everything. Well, it's one of those things is that Whatever it comes down to it, don't get me wrong, I had him within a third of his health. I almost had him. Thing is, is I ran right out of blood vials right as he hit me. Midpoint stage three. But I did manage earlier to kill the wolves on the bridge. I don't know what that means. Yeah? Yeah, those were, like, here, Jesus, that's a pain in my ass. Uh, here's the thing, they've got more, uh... They've got more life than wolves later in the game, too, for some reason. Because the wolves you fight, uh, over near the Bloodstained Bee, or Bloodstarved Beast, are, uh... They're more... They have less life than the wolves on the bridge. Huh. Yeah, I don't fucking get it. It makes no sense to me. Epic! Right. And because you can't even get to them until after. See? That wasn't so bad. <laughs> yeah. Kinda Isn't interesting. Scaffolding cool. Where's the last guy? Oh, I'm I guess I'm done. So right now I am at a tournament of sixteen blood vials, fourteen quick silver bullets, and I'm just going around killing everything just for the points. <laughs> I lost Just for those I've been doing, uh... Nothing outside our immediate area. So every loop through that zone, if you can do it perfectly, I think is about 6,000 blood echoes. If you do every monster in the zone. Yeah. Well, my biggest issue is taking on rats. The rats, really? What weapon are you using? Saw spear? Uh, no, I'm using the hunter's axe. Uh, just stay in the small form and swipe them. Well, Most like of the time... I get one, five others from down the way. Notice. Alternatively, if you can get behind them close enough, you know you can walk up behind enemies and they won't turn around, right? Huh. Yeah, if you just walk, you can get close enough to an enemy to just do a charge attack on them. Uh, if they survive... If they survive a fully charged attack as well, you can also uh, repost them from behind right after, too. Nice. Actually, I take that back. Uh, you can't with the Hunter's Axe in the two-handed form, because that sends them flying. But if you do it in the one-handed form, it knocks them to the ground and you can uh, repost them. I'm taking out a few of these guys while I can with the pistol from up top. So here's the thing. I am re 100 percenting this game on stream. This is like the second or third time I've 100 percented this one. And so, uh. I'm. I am. 
I'm doing it again, but this time I'm doing it from the beginning. So basically, as soon as I hit a zone, I 100% it. And so I am massively, like, overleveled. As soon as I get access to an ability, I'm already done. <laughs> Because levels, uh, this is the only one that where they work like that, where everything is karma locked. Right. Basically, like your level is locked entirely to your karma, and also, uh, it's it's like my most, it's my least favorite thing about this uh, version or this game, and that is okay. that in the other infamous is your ex your level wasn't tied to your karmic level. Like, there was neutral experience you could get, then there was good and evil experience in the others, you know? And then right. there was... You did have a karma level, and some abilities and stuff were locked behind it. But in this, your upgrades are all locked behind your karma level. So, like, I can't upgrade a lot of my shit from what I remember right. Maybe I'm wrong. Probably. No, 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 I, I'm right. Yeah. Yeah. So, like, there's a lot of shit I can't upgrade because of my karma level. And in this, the opposite karma de-levels you. Right. And so, I'm just... I, I've switched over to my smoke bomb style, is what I'm saying. I only use sulfur bombs. Yeah, uh, I'm taking a break from Bloodborne for right now. I don't blame you. I do I it every few days just to make sure that I don't, like, burn out on it. I'll be playing it some more later. But, uh, the snakes in the forest pissed me off so much that I just, I quit. For a little bit. I cheesed a very difficult enemy, too, so, you know... <laughs> Dude, okay. I love the hunter's axe. It... Here... Part of the reason I love it so much, though, is because it allows for so much damn cheese. Like, you can you can break the game in so many ways with it. Because, <laughs> like, uh, if you've ever got a short hallway, just keep the, like, tip of your axe clear, and you can spin and just dominate the hallway. Right. Because once the spin has uh, completed, like, the first little arc in front of you, that's it. it. It's invincible for the rest of the spin. Like, no enemy, like, hitting walls and shit, don't disrupt it if you've gotten the spin started. So down here's the, in, uh, the crawling infested. Which is funny enough, is it just cuts right across to another spot you could have gone to. Well. I hate that they're immune to smoke when they're jumping. It's bullshit. Oh, those little guys who crawl? No, uh... The fucking DUP agents who can do the rock jump, they are immune to, like, smoke bombs while they're doing the rock jump. You got to the point where you can use neon yet? No. I'm literally, like I said, I'm 100%ing every district before I move on, so I'm working on the third district right now. Out of, like, 15. I don't even remember how many there are. I don't, how many are there? Yeah, I find it six, funny enough is that they give you, actually give you the choice to turn in fetch or not. It's like, I'm sorry, I'm not narking her out. Fuck them. No, you don't turn in fetch. When your brother asks you the question, you think we should No, 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 you have two options. You can corrupt fetch, which involves taking her to kill drug dealers and shit. Or right. you can work with her to show her that there's more to life than getting revenge, basically. And that you can do shit without just murdering people. Right. No, uh... That game brought out my homicidal asshole, if you can understand no, the closest you get to something like that is Hank at the end. Or Henry, sorry. It's Henry Daughtry. Uh, Henry, at the end, you get the option to kill him 
or let him run away with his daughter. Right. I won't lie, I have never finished an evil playthrough in this game, because evil Delson is just cringe to me. <laughs> cringe. Like, I don't know. I always... Here's the thing. If I were evil, I'm pragmatic evil. So only evil if it makes sense from a beneficial point of view. More selfish evil than... I'm here to, like, destroy the world type evil. Oh, so we're talking like evil King Piccolo type shit. I guess? I don't- I'm not a huge fan of Dragon Ball, so I can't say super well how I would relate to him. But well, I'm meaning, evil. like, in the first one, you have a good and evil option to save the doctors or your girlfriend. And I always think to myself, I would probably save the doctors anyways, because it's the, like, pragmatic thing to do. If I get hurt, I'm gonna need those doctors and shit. Like, it's definitely a, it's not a free thing. I'm not saving you because I'm a good person. But more, I feel you owe me. <laughs> Think of me as kind of cynical, but uh, when it comes to specific games and certain choices they give you, it uh, tends to remind me a bit of the uh, opening theme for Mercenaries 2 or World in Flames. Okay. And if, if and when I start streaming again, I don't know, but if I'm ever in that chaotic mood, basically picture the song Oh No You Didn't in your head while I'm killing things. Who did I main. injure? I'm not even using what actual attacks, I'm just throwing smoke grenades. What do you mean I injured a civilian? There... I only... I'm only using the fucking smoke grenades. Also, I love that you can fall like 200 feet in front of a DUP agent and they're just like, eh, normal dude, I guess. <laughs> hey boys, how's it going? Where's your uh Oh it's below me. Thanks for the help actually. That that was helpful. Just gonna bop. Ah. Here. Also, I hate that karmic levels are uh or I hate that karma healing is hidden at like level three of the fucking karma level system. Cause that is so much work. Like there are alternative healing methods available by the time you get karma healing that almost make karma healing pointless. Like, vents are everywhere, and you get vent healing at level fucking 2. I would figure- right. I would think, personally, that vent healing would come after. Because vent healing requires no work on your part, because vents are fucking everywhere. They're not hard to get. But my orbital drop's just fucking ready. <laughs> I say that, I think I'm in one of the only sections where things are fucking hard to get to. You only know, have one of the rarer achievements in this game. <laughs> Actually, I have one of the rarest achievements in XCOM 2. Oh, yeah? Yeah, I think it's only so it's something like only 1% of players have. <laughs> Honestly, you guys are just being rude. Yeah, give me a second. 
does does Quay Quay have XCOM 2 installed so I can look at the achievements easily? <laughs> it doesn't look like it. So I, I have a feeling that uh, Pokemon Scarlet and uh, Violet are not going to do too well. Oh, why is that? They spoiled everybody with Arsenus. I don't know, because so far the systems look almost exactly the same. Yeah, but if it brings you back to the old turn-by-turn -turn base, my three off. I don't think it's going to. It, it looks like it's running off the exact same engines and systems. Also, I lied. Uh, it's 0.8% of players have this achievement. 3,354 blood echoes. And it's only a silver grade trophy. Huh. Here's the thing, all the like ultra rare achievements are like bronzes and <laughs> shit. Really? Yep, okay, so the rarest achievement is Weary Warriors. Complete a mission with all tired soldiers and no casualties. That's a bronze. 0.1% of players have that achievement. Zombies in a Barrel is the other one that's get 15 headshots in one run uh, against the zombies. Because every time you kill a zombie, you get a free action in uh, that one. And so, but only like 0.6% of people have. Why can't I just shoot it? Oh, I'm out of smoke. I run out of fucking smoke. Also, there's a guy alive still? Fuck, excuse me. Oh, he's above me. That's why I can't fucking find him. Isn't he? Where the fuck is this dude? Dude, where are you? Where the fuck is this guy? Oh, there he is. What a tool. Okay, it's like the, uh, like looking through picking up the hunter outfit, right? Yeah. The other hunter hat literally takes more damage from certain things than what I have equipped. Well, yeah. That's... The armor in Bloodborne is about as good as it gets. Like, there's no armor that's really great at everything. You can't just easily find a replacement. It's more situational. Like, Henrik's is uh, the yellow armor you can buy, and it uh, it's really good at taking bolt damage, which makes it great for Parl, but bad for... Uh, fire enemies, I believe. And stuff like that. The base hunter set, from what I remember, right, just has good, uh... Damage resist? Are you fucking kidding me? From across the map, these bitches? For pain. Which, that comes in later, I do believe. What? It's not good against thrusting damage or arcane. Yeah. So, your armor is more supposed to be, like, a situational thing. Less like, oh, there's just a direct upgrade. I don't know how I missed the guy who was closer to my grenade, but okay. Sure. That doesn't... Make any fucking sense to me, but I, I will I will take your word for it. I guess you don't use thrust; he uses more blunt damage, does he not? Who? Gas Father Gas uh, Gascon? Yeah, he would yeah. be uh, blunt. Also, okay, just so uh, leveling yourself up gives you physical resistances too, like resistance oh, yeah. to all physical damage. It won't help you against, like, let's say. Parl too much because a lot of his damage comes from a uh, bolt. Right. But it will help you in general. But yeah, I am. Um, armor is a situational thing in Bloodborne. 
that you probably want to swap up for specific enemies. If you're good enough, you can get away with keeping the same armor for a long time and without needing to swap it out. Like, I have yet to change from my, uh, from the starting hunter set. Because it is a really good, uh, physical set. And right. it's, it's really good for travel. Because, uh, it's not great at anything, but it's good at everything, you know? Oh, it's a drone flying around. Where the fuck is this bitch? Got it. Oh, I can drain it through the fence. Nice. <laughs> I wasn't sure if it was gonna let me do that. But yeah. So, right. that's that's what I would say. Like, uh, I think the base hunter set is just really good for general travel and use. And figuring out what a boss does. Whereas... Oh, we finally added the threaded cane, the cleaver, and the perk hammer to the shop. Well, they're, norm they're normally locked either behind a boss or behind an emblem. So, like, I got the Spark Hunter's emblem, so now I could buy the Tenitris. But also, I just knew where to find, find the Tenitris, so I just went and got it myself. <laughs> Yeah, it's like I had the Sword Hunters thing, so that means the Kirk Hammer was available. Yeah. Which, um... Alright, okay, so when you get past there, uh... Do you have any idea what boss you're heading towards next? Because there's two or three available to you, like, right after you get out of there. I have no idea which ones I'm going to go after next. Because I know I have options of places to go. Yeah. Well, your three options are Jura, who is frustrating as hell because you fight him on the top of a tower. Uh, and so it's a tower that's very easy to fall off of. Is this why you befriend him? Uh, okay, so you've got the hunter's axe or the pistol. You can cheese this fight crazy easy. <laughs> so it's up to you. Befriending him is harder than just cheesing his fight. But also, I agree with him on a moral level, so I always spare him. Because literally all he wants to do is protect the people who used to live there, even if they are no longer people anymore. Right. And I'm like, I get that. That's respectable, so I stand by your decision, so I'm not going to kill you. Right. It does mean, unfortunately, like, uh, you are taking on a much harder task by doing that, and you're gonna have to, uh, you're gonna lose a good grinding spot if you skip him. Because the beasts down in Old Yarnum are worth a good chunk of soul, or echoes, for the, uh, for the time when you get them available, if that makes sense. Right. Like, they pay a good chunk for the early game. Like, at the point in the game I'm at, worthless. <laughs> they do nothing right. for me. But, for that early in the game, they're very nice. And you kind of lose that grinding spot if you befriend Jura, because you can't kill anything in there after. Also, like I said, it involves beating a whole other boss and potentially a second boss. Right. I've heard a lot of things about early players going to Kanehurst. Uh, Kanehurst is harder to get to. You can rush Vicar Amelia right away. So that's right. an option. Because if you ascend Odin Chapel rather than continue out through the front doors, you can just go straight to Vicar Amelia, basically, if you're good enough. You'll be... Okay, so actually, um, 
I mean this in the nicest way it can possibly come across. It sounds like you're struggling a bit, which is good for you in the long run. Because right. it means that uh, you won't end up in the same spot I ended up where I progressed so fast that I was under level for everything. Well, then again, with certain games like this, I usually tend to grind my ass off anyway. And that's, like I said, that's not a bad option. It Bloodborne has two options. You... Actually, uh, I'll say every Souls game has two options. You either grind until you have the stats to say fuck you, or you get re you get good at the boss fights. And it's really one or two decisions on that. Well, it's one of those things, the reasons I grind, it's like back when I used to play Kingdom Hearts all the time. And they, and whoever wrote that Prima Guide idea that you could take on Sephiroth at 50 and survive had his head so far up his ass. I mean, I had, I'm not gonna lie to you. I ha I only played Kingdom Hearts 1 and I found... I just rushed the end of the game, really, because I was getting bored. I did learn that you can just cheese Maleficent. Oh yeah, easy. Yeah, you. there's literally, like, multiple corners you can just stand in and spam Fireball at her, and she can't do anything. Oh yeah. I was there's like, just some things in those games are so damn easy, some things are just a pain in the ass. But no, with the second game, they usually tell you that, you know, level 50, you can take on Sephiroth as the optional boss. It's like, I did that at 50. I kept getting my ass handed to me. 63, I barely made it through it. Well, that is the thing about oh, RPGs, though. My... You can always basically just level until things stop being a problem in most games. Like, oh, that's the only great. thing I can think of is I know 6 has some secret bosses who, like, are required for the Ultima weapons, who are absurd. Like, by the time you get to the point of getting some of the secret bosses in 6, you're stronger than just about anything else in the game, so it no their drops no longer matter. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's like... It's like uh, Final Fantasy XII with me, and I'll, I'll be ex give a great example of that. Reasons I love Final Fantasy XII. It's along those lines of, you take on so many hunts, and then you actually go and push further. You can go up against some very, very choice a rank enemies that can whip your ass pretty damn good. Which gave me the confidence to keep pushing and grind more. Yeah. Thus, by the time that was said and done, I was damn near unstoppable. Yeah. Uh, I guess he. I feel like dealing with this guy. Wait, did he Me? not take off? Do we waddy? Huh? Do we waddy? Uh, Do we talk? Oh, I'm doing one of the side missions in Second Sun. I'm 100%ing the zone and I'm doing the secret agent missions. Where you're trying to catch the hidden agent and. Everyone else had ran out of the zone when I healed a dude, because the DUP were fucking rushing me. And so I thought that every NPC had cleared the zone. But no, this dude was just standing in the corner, and he was the secret agent I was after, so... Fascinating decision-making on his part. I have the high ground! I can't afford the high ground. The best I can do you is the not ground floor. Tasty. You get why I would say something like that, right? Yeah, no, it's a reference. Okay.
I hate doing the ones over the water because the water pole things you're supposed to stand on are frequently just bugged. <laughs> oh, it threw me off! That was horse shit! I made it all the way to the thing I had to platform to in the middle of the fucking ocean, and the game literally just threw me off. Like, I don't mean... <laughs> I don't mean, like, I slipped off or anything because there wasn't a foothold. I was sitting still on the thing, and it literally launched me. I love this game. Trash design sometimes, though. <laughs> Let's get my stuff back. You got this, I believe in you. God damn it. I need a dram a dram a me. There it is. <laughs> have you ever 100% in Second Son? I have never done the 100%. I've gotten the 95. Ed, did you do all the district showdowns? Yes. <laughs> I fucking love doing the district showdowns. Not the actual fights, I just... Dude, they're just fun to do. I like listening to Delson talk to the fucking lady on the other end. She's like, you know I have a husband, right? And we're gonna find you? <laughs> yeah. <sighs> I'm gonna do some crack. Crack cocaine, that is. Uh... There really is just something satisfying about traveling in this game. Yeah, uh, so same with the uh, spray painting. I mean, come on. In fairness, I love spray painting purely because of Jet Set Radio Future. How are, how are Xbox emulators coming along? Because I know, for whatever... Okay, do you know the story behind Xbox emulators and why they've taken so long to hit a working point? Uh, no, I remember PlayStation 2 emulators failing bad. No, okay, so PlayStation 2 emulators are basically, like, perfect at this point. Like, they there's minor improvements going on, but for the most part, most emulators run pretty well at this point, with the exception of Xbox. And, funny thing, um, not even Microsoft has the code for how the Xbox works anymore. And that's the reason why, like, original Xbox games can be so hard to get, uh, like, ported over to shit. Because if Microsoft wasn't, like, directly involved with their, uh... If Microsoft wasn't directly involved with their creation... They don't know anything about how the game works or how the fucking system they designed works. There's no documentation on it. People are having to rebuild it from fucking scratch, basically. And that's the reason Xbox emulation is taking so long. Like, PlayStation at this point, basically perfected. Oh, dude, Nintendo was one of the simplest ones that they did, though. Well, yeah. Nintendo's weird because they frequently... Like, they're very anti-piracy, but they're... Anti-piracy in, like, the laziest way. Actually, uh... One of my favorite anti-piracy things was what, uh, Spyro did? Oh, uh, yeah? Yeah, uh... Spyro? If you pirated Spyro, it would let you beat, like, three-fourths of the fucking game. And then it would just start deleting your shit. Like, <laughs> eggs would start being uncaught and all sorts of stuff. Right. Or just disappearing from the game entirely. You would just slowly start losing, like, all your fucking collectibles. <laughs> oh, man. Yeah. I would have been pissed. Yeah, because their reasoning was a uh, game makes most of its sales within its first year, right? 
Right. So they needed to convince Py and pirates were working pretty fast at this point. Game like security wasn't as tight as it can be nowadays. And even then, oh, yeah. some things are very easy to break through. So uh, they their plan was we don't need to stop them from pirating it because that's impossible. They're gonna make it through eventually. What we have to do is we have to convince them that they've succeeded so that they give up for a little while, long enough for us to like actually sell the game and make money. Right. So they made it super easy to like crack the first time. I think it was done within like two weeks of its launch. Which at the time wasn't good, but it wasn't the worst. Nintendo's failings tend to come in from their fact of they get very overambitious with their stuff. And so they miss security problems all the time because of all the ambitious features they're trying to cram into anything and everything. Me okay, with a paper clip. Huh? Is that yep? Which one uh, did you say? Because I know there is one that, yeah, uh, the first round of security um, on the models was beatable with a fucking paperclip. Um, like, it's to the point where with the... Actually, yeah, with the exception of the Switch, most Nintendo consoles were hacked within, like, a year of their release. And even the Switch has been, but not to the extent of the others. Like, the Wii U was done, I think, within, like, a month because of the fact it had a work, like, it had a working Wii in it. And so, all the same vulnerabilities that were part of the Wii were just in it, too. But originally, uh, all the fucking, uh, security workarounds from the Wii worked, but were limited to the Wii menu to some extent. It did take a while for that to be figured out for a workaround. Uh, the Switch, anything past revision, like, 1.1 can no, cannot be hacked without, like, hard mods. The 3DS is crazy easy. <laughs> Okay. And uh, I'm not recommending anyone does it, but if someone has a 3DS and wants to do it, it is very easy and very hard to fuck up. And I'm just going to leave that out there because it is a console that can play yeah. a lot of shit. Especially if you've got a new 3DS. Right. It's a shame the screen on Minecraft. Screen on yours cracked? Yeah, the top screen on mine fucking cracked. God damn it. I need a fucking... Well, I found where Piggy hides. What? I found that back way to get to the pig. Yeah? So yeah. He, he, it doesn't charge you and kill you in the tunnel instantly every time? I mean, I just found him. Oh, you hadn't found him yet? Oh, no, I, I found him once already, but I found the uh, way I could bat hatch. Yeah. There's no smoke up here. I need smoke. Where are all those things I blew up? Okay. There's one. Did you really just come over and shove me with your gun rather than shoot me? Of all the questionable decisions you could have made, that's the one you went with. Man. That's a, that's a fascinating decision to have made right there.
Thank you for the free smoke, my man. Totally, uh, totally myrtlating everything in my path. As you do. As you do, obviously. It's the only thing you can do at this point. Bonk. <laughs> I fucking love doing that. Come on, boys. Come play with Jake. God damn, I forgot yeah. how much of a fucking pain it was to oh, do yeah, the parking complex. And then I just got nailed. Sounds about right. I hate those, I hate those wolves with the fucking spears, dude. Yeah? Yeah. They're just douche nuggets. I always think they look more like fish. Are we, are, am I hearing some sort of esoterical order of Dagon type shit here? I don't know what you mean. Have you never read H.P. Lovecraft? No, not really. I enjoy his concepts and the ideas, but uh, also I find his writing style boring. It, it does. And uh, also he, very racist. He, he was very oh, racist. Definitely, definitely. I mean, it was the 1920s when the shit was wrote. Oh, even for the time, though, he was considered very racist. <laughs> oh yes. <laughs> I'm not denying that. No, 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 no. I was laughing because, uh... So I subdued someone, but the animation broke while I was subduing him. So, he like, he's half in the floor. He met floor more? <laughs> what do I own Final Fantasy IX on? I have so much damn Final Fantasy music. You know what? I think I know what my first subscriber goal would be. <laughs> Actually forcing myself to sit down and play all of Final Fantasy IX on stream. Oh shit. Put it behind that, like, a... ten subs. There ain't it. What? That, that's what I would call torture, wouldn't you? I just mean, like, oh my god, it would be torture for everyone involved, I think, because that is a long fucking RPG. I don't know, I, okay, I say all, I mean the entire story, I don't think I would, uh, 100% it. But, I would go for the optional characters. Like, uh, Quinoa would definitely have to be in the party. Don't even like them, but they would have to be there. What the fuck is this guy? Someone is trying to surrender slash run away from me, and I cannot for the life of me fucking find him. Stop running! Thank you. But yeah, no, um... I, I think that would be the 10 sub goal. A uh, whole Final Fantasy IX playthrough. There. Now that I have my Echoes back... I'm going back to where I need to go, and I'm going to go level up. Because, I mean, I've got, I've got it on my PS3. I'm 90% sure I've got it downloaded on my PS3, too. Right. Yeah, I think that, uh, that that might be a decent, um, thing to force myself to do. <laughs> Either that, or I have one other thing I think I could do. And this would be going back to my roots as a Crash Team Racing streamer. <laughs> Alright. So, I think the alternative is... That, uh, that I finally do Driftless Percent, and I actually do it and submit the record this time. No, okay. Driftless Percent race against fucking Psycho. <laughs> until, until I could win. <laughs> Or something equally stupid like that. 
I don't know, that's one of those things I probably, like, if I ever thought I was coming close to need to having enough subscribers to need a fucking sub goal, I would probably leave it up to them and give them a few options to be like, here's what I'm willing to just suffer through. So now it's you guys who tell me what I'm suffering through. And we'll right. set the goal. Alright, sulfur headshots are nice. Just automatically getting free takedowns is, uh, is nice. Somebody's shooting at me. You have the fucking gall to shoot me? I'm a god, little man. A god! So many of these people just seem to not understand what an actual god means, you know? It's like they think that, uh, these guys are obsessed with me. that the man who shoots smoke and can heal people isn't divinity itself just walking around on their mortal plane of existence. So, I think I have 800 songs in total for my stream now. Give me right. a second, let me check. Can, can I can just tell me how many songs I have? iTunes. I swear you keep this information somewhere. Alright. Uh, where is it? Sworn you could tell me that information somewhere. Give me a second, guys. I'm, I'm trying to figure out just how many songs I have. Right. <laughs> no, it's just uh, one of those things. Is like I'm up to the point where I have a lot more health. As well as durability on things. Yeah. I'm worried. Uh, I think 17 blood vials should be enough. I'm going after him. It's time to take down the. Uh, you got this. I believe in you. I can pretty much kill everything in this area now, pretty big. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I say. Go to you guys, I'm free! <laughs> oh, now they like. Oh, yeah, it's like a uh, dude seeking missile there. What the hell? Hell is with your crap, my dude. I'm not sure there is a way to check actually but I do know I have something like Let's, let tell me no I have several hundred tracks and uh yeah they're almost all Final Fantasy 9 songs I wish I could, for the life of me, remember uh, how many, 
half? But I know I at least have multiple 16 track albums. I definitely wasn't very distracted right there. What are you talking about? It's fine. Totally, totally fine. <laughs> it's fine. It's all good. It is all good. This area and how clustered it is. There's not a lot of travel time between the missions. There we go. I'm making a crow. One of the things I hate is I can never be too sure when I'm actually done with the, uh, with the stencil arts. Right. Because some of them have, like, two stages, some of them have three. I don't think there's any with more than three that I can remember, and I have 100% of this game a few times. Right. So I'm gonna say if I don't remember it... It does not exist. I, I didn't really mean to climb up here, but... Hello. Um, stop hiding amongst the civilians, sir. That's rude. Don't mind me, just gonna shoot your shit up. Bah! He's good. I didn't kill him. And you know what they say, if, if they're not dead, it ain't murder. Right? I'm 100% that that is the saying. Oh, 100% that that is the saying. If they're not dead, I didn't kill them, and it ain't murder. Is an upgrade available still? What upgrade am I missing? There's an upgrade of that one. No, okay, I think it, the screen just hadn't updated properly. Yeah, because it was saying I still had six shards. I do not have that many. I have four. Clear the area of enemies? What fucking enemies? Is it the drone? I don't trust him. I don't think he's an enemy. I think he's just a fucking drone. <laughs> okay. I'll just ride along on top of this car for no apparent reason. Hi, car. Bye, car. Oh, is it fucking seeing the enemies under me? Is that what is happening? I can't even get to them. Sometimes it's detection range on enemies is weird too. Okay, now it lets me get mit. Now oh, fucking. Hello everyone, uh, if you could just stay calm, not freak out. Let's all be perfectly reasonable individuals here. None of you are wearing a beanie, which means that for now you're safe. 
Motherfucker. Did he just- he ran through a wall! That's bullshit! He ran through a wall! How is that my f- He- Oh, maybe he went that way. I could be wrong. I still think he ran through a wall. Oh fuck, that was a civilian who just happened to be wearing exactly the same clothes as the secret agent. Plus side, flush the secret agent out. So all in all, um, I'm gonna count this as a, as a middle ground sort of win. You know? Murdered a civilian, but uh, caught the secret agent. They had the same character model. I thought her I saw a beanie and got antsy. But who can hold that against me really? Oh that's horseshit. Okay, he fell. I don't care. Okay, I can go. Oh god he died! Who died? Uh the ogre jump chip. Oh. On the Did plus side you still get those fight? echoes. Yeah, I know, right? The sweet, sweet, tasty echoes. Really? Don't even give me time to get up. That is a bullshit move. Oh, hey, uh, drug dealers. Wow, there were a lot of you right here. Unfortunately for you guys, I, I'm doing a lot of subduing, which basically means I'm invincible right now. Thanks to karmic healing. But you're you're welcome to keep shooting me rather than running away. I hate when that happens. Man, it's a good thing there were no civilians in the middle of that. Got it. We get a little bit of a zoop off that. Ah shit, I can buy my partner send them. There we go. Right on the border over there. Add the zoomies. You know the most realistic part about these games? Oh. Cars actually stop for pedestrians. That's interesting. Well, my immersion is broken. was the wrong direction. Okay. My biggest issue is he does not know how long it took me to get all those healing items. Yeah? Yeah. He's got no respect? Got no, totally no respect. Totally no. Managed to get the red jewel brush this time, brush this time, so. I lost all them tasty soul echoes, or blood echoes. Plus, he managed to keep his head well in curtain K. Something even the 
smartest inmates have problems with. Oh, something just happened. Fuck off, I'm shooting a drone right now. I will deal with you in a second. So many drone dealing in so little time. Got him. Okay, he's down. District showdown unlocked already, but we're gonna hold off on it for another hot second. Hello, officers. Man, that was one of the easiest hidden cameras. Because fuck them. Better on those guys to uh, move along so I don't gotta deal with them. Casual everyday citizen. Sit down. Shit, it's the fuzz. Book it. Later, nerds. Hi, you have a bio 
Guess, Guess what? what? Another, Another door was covered by a bioterrorist. What do I do? I recognize your voice, sir. I don't find this funny. We will handle you. All right, right lady, bring, bring it on. Ah, huh, another helicopter. Son of a bitch! Yeah, tell me about it. God damn it, I cannot hit this fucking helicopter. It's just these douche nuggets of spears, man. Awesome. How? Why is this goddamn helicopter so fucking agile? Who decided this helicopter rolls 20s for all of its dexterity stats? Why does it have a 99 on her though? Just don't know. Fuck you, Mr. Helicopter. Now what are you gonna do? Who else is still alive and gunning for me right now? These guys? These guys who aren't even involved in this conflict? Okay. Let's check the different jackets out. It's time to pick a jacket. Missed me? Yeah, we'll do missed me for a little while. There we go. What is left? What am I missing in Georgetown? It says I'm missing 2%. There's a shard left. There it is. longer to hit that than I would like to admit. And that's a district down. Just uh, three more to go. I'm closest to this one, so we'll start out by knocking out that. <laughs> That's neat, I didn't know that. Uh. So it turns out that uh, the DUP agents, if the vans they have that drive around, if yeah. they uh, if they come across an agent you've tackled to the ground while driving around, they will stop and get out and try to catch you. <laughs> Even if you're like all the way down the fucking road, they're like, oh shit. She just got raped. <laughs> Basically. Basically, yeah. Who the fuck is shooting at me right now? I swear I heard someone take a shot at me, but I don't see no one. Go ahead and 
into this restricted zone because uh, nobody's gonna fucking stop me. This looks like a good spot. Here's the thing. Smoke's my favorite power. Neon has the best finisher. Yes. Like, I just, I don't think there's arguing that Neon has the best finisher. here. You. You're going to heal me. Thank you. Yeah, also Neon's finisher just doesn't have the same level of restrictions placed on it that fucking Smoke has to deal with. Villagers just give up on a lot of things because they got a bunch of dead guys laying in the street. Well, here's the thing uh, they're insane. I know. I mean, they have literally been driven insane. It's like saying, think? I don't know why schizophrenics hear voices. <laughs> it's like, because they're insane. They they don't they don't exactly have a choice in the matter. And wake up one morning and go, man, I, I wish I heard voices all the time. Right. The fucking auto turrets out of the way. Not that they were really an issue, but... Oh, I need to take a kill, holy shit. Maybe that was cruel, what I just did. Feels like it could have been a cruel thing to do. All I did was, there was this guy surrendering, but I would have had to climb to get to him. And that would have taken time, so instead I just got a headshot on him, because that instantly subdues them. Right. So it was faster for me, but I'm like, is this cruel to have done? Oh, I already blew this thing all to hell. I can just pop it open. Okay. Here's what I gotta do. I gotta go up the main street, get my, uh, 58 soul echoes back, well, blood echoes back. So that dude's just straight up dead. That van blew up on top of him. <laughs> he actually levitates off the floor now. I made this man levitate. I gave him the powers of levitation. I truly am a god.
Sweet, sweet return of echoes. special on that one. them down. It's all of them down. Hey, they really plastered the Sly Cooper emblem all over the place in this game. Make sure it's nice and shook up. Not that it affects anything, but I like the sound it makes. Oh, that was, uh, yeah, the black luster this time around. Ah, a little cage thingy? Fuck this cage. Yes. 
emergency station. Man, you good? I am totally on it now. Yeah? Yeah. So, so much murder. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. So many bodies. Yeah? There's the guy who took, took my chicken McNuggets last time. Yeah. Yeah. The audacity. The audacity, I know. Alright. Where, where is this fucking thing? Trees, huh? Looking towards that. There it is. Oh, I actually ran in. Oh, okay. I thought I accidentally ran into the fucking story mission. <laughs> this is the game like, you, you can be done with this area now, actually. that doesn't have after art they add. Return to the hunter's dream, yes. You know, if I were a thug and some dude rolled up with superpowers on me, I think I would just give up. So I gotta commend these oh, men, they are dedicated. Well, it's like the, uh, the boys. You know what I'm talking about by that show, right? Yeah. Be like, Homelander thinks he's the hero, but in actuality, not so much. I'm saying, Homelander doesn't think he's the hero so much as he knows he's celebrated as one, and so people won't do anything to him. I think he's more, yeah, he has a fear type effect. Because... He has a fairly good idea of, like, what he can and can't do. Right. Especially when compared to, like, the other people around him. I haven't watched the show, but I know the comics. Told 
will take him away and hurt her K for getting out of him. Just as he's being dragged out of the room, he said, Delson finds him. Tell him to hide in the coma. There we go. There's one more shard that I gotta do before I can go do that. I hate that I can't platform or parkour on trees at all. And it's just like, trees? Nobody can climb those. You ever seen someone climb a tree? That's fucking ridiculous. I don't, I don't believe in it personally. Yeah. Or, uh, platformer where you take fall damage. What do you mean? Bubsy. Oh? Bubsy, the only platformer I know that you take fall damage. No. You take fall damage in, like, Mario and shit, too. Yeah, but it's basically a Sonic-based game, but yet you take fall damage. I mean, Sonic doesn't really do fall damage, but Sonic is also not what a lot of people think it is. It's more of a memorization style platformer, yeah. where your reward for practice is being able to go fast. Basically along the lines is the more you memorize, the easier it is. Yeah, because that's kind of what they want you to do. They want you to memorize and know the layouts and everything. Right. And your reward for that is the ability to go fast. So, what are you wearing? Wait, 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 no, that that you're that punk kid calling. calling. Ah! How does I wish that the design you spray painted changed as you level. Oh. Now there sure is a lot of you like right on that level right there. And then you all cleared out. That's rude. Had some frame drops there. Okay, sweet. Glad enough that goes to repair my shit. <laughs> uh, hope I'm leveled up enough to be able to take this guy. No, they, they recommend level 15 for him. Yeah. I'm at level 21 now. I mean, I beat him at, fuck, I think level 10. No, 13. Gascon was 13. Oh. Cleric piece I didn't level at all for. Hmm? It's like, I charge in angrier than hell. Yeah. Just ready to take him out, and it's just, fuck. Oh, uh, there's one more shard over there. Well, actually... Oh, there's actually three shards left that I hadn't gotten yet. We're gonna run on the train tracks. This is a good idea. I can't see a way this could end poorly for me. Actually, is the train running right now? Yeah, the train runs.
tracks go anywhere near where I'm going? No. Well, it's time to leave the tracks. They took me a ways. Paramount. Here comes the elevator to take me to die, yay! <laughs> so when you step off the elevator, do you make sure to send it back up so that you don't have to wait on it? For the next attempt? How far up is this? Yeah, I always make sure to send the elevator back up. Is it under? No, it's gotta be up there, I think. For the life of me seeing it. Okay. I guess it is under. That was the easiest 200 soul echoes I ever, well, the blood echoes I ever got. Yeah. yeah if you go forward enough to where uh, they start chasing you. Mm hmm. Then you get on the ladder. Yeah. The big guy and the other guy still send the flaming ball. Oh, it is just very high up. Got it. Yeah, you can just have them. Uh, the ball's on a timer. So as soon as you're on the bridge, if you just wait long enough, they'll send the ball no matter what. You can oh, kill yeah. all of them with it. Personally, with the axe, I just come up. Uh, do a full charge spin into the first group, and that knocks out basically all of them. And the last ones get knocked out by the ball. Damn, that was a hell of a hit I just did on him. Oh, he's already in stage two. Look at that. Uh, all of them? Why is everyone shooting at me? All right, you kind of brought this on yourself, my guy. Don't shoot me and there won't be no fucking problems, okay? All right, I'm having the subdued cops now. I have done nothing but be helpful to you people and you shoot me? Fuck you. Stage three. Hmm. Where'd he go? Got him. Nice. Woo. What I did was I got him down to a certain amount of health, then used the tiny music box. Yeah. 
So you're only able to use it, what, three times? Yeah. I only used it twice. Cool. And, um... He only took about a quarter of my health. This time around. I like, pretty much learned his pattern. Basically, whenever he enters stage two, don't lock on. Mm-hmm. So I have done, I think, three story missions. I'm already at 34% of the way through Infamous Second Son. Level 21. You alright over there? Yeah, I'm fine. Why? I heard the air eh sound. Oh, that's just my chair. Ah. Uh. Looking at this, uh, Gasun's gar uh, Gasun's garb is actually pretty damn near. Fuck, dude, this thing's awesome. That's awesome buffs on it. Got more all around stats, but less uh, actual physical resistance, I think. Yeah. yeah, it's got more specialized resistance, though. Right. And as far as elements go, it's about on par, but a little better, at least for Arcane and Fire, I think. Bold, right. I think, is exactly the same. At least giving it a quick look over. Let's 
see if I remember where the fuck I'm going. Have you been upgrading your weapons? Yes. Yeah? It's good, because yeah, um, I can uh, get you increases on, like, uh, the scaling, too. Ah! Okay, I, I went and looked a few couple things up, right? Okay. There's, in fact, two ISFKs. One's an imposter, and she's yeah. the one who encouraged you to send people. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you're out of my way, big guy. 4,816 souls from him. Or echoes. Probably check my gems after all this. Fourteen thousand. That's probably all. I mean, for puddles of snakes? Yeah, I guess. Ah, so you finally started playing Bloodborne again? Yeah. I just switched over. Okay, so I'm at the tomb. Am I supposed to be back here? Maybe not. There doesn't seem to be anything back here except invisible walls, so I'm gonna say that's not where I was supposed to go. died last time I played. Oh, I've taken a lot less damage by switching over to this. Okay. Man, I sure do wish I knew where the fuck I was. Hello, giant pile of snakes. 
you found care to come to a spot where I can maybe exploit my axe of reach and abilities against you? No, don't turn back around. That I think was the easiest uh, death you caused one of them to do it. The uh, giants, well not the giants, the uh, ogres. Huh? Yeah, uh, you walk on to them and then you go to the ladder, they'll jump off the ladder trying to get you. Yeah. You can't do that. <laughs> I'm gonna have to check my gems in my room and see here in a little while. Because I've got a lot of gems and rooms. Right. At some point I'm gonna have to check those out. Oh, right, you're a big snake surrounded by little snakes. Wandering around in the forest full of fuck off snakes. I love it here in the forest full of fuck off giant snakes. But no, it says that the imposter kills the original. Yeah? Yeah. Is there like a second lantern somewhere? Jesus Christ, I have gone so far from the original lantern. Something's coming. Let's see it. Okay, he said something. something about a guy being up on the roof after gas, uh, gas coin. Hmm? Not for a little ways still, I think. By the man spin, you're aware of that, yes? I finally made it to a cut. Yeah, congratulations, you're out of the tutorial. Will this be a safe place I send people? Yeah, uh, you're in the underside of the Odin Chapel. The visceral attack on the pig is literally you shove your whole hand up its ass. Oh, dude, I, it's the, I did the visceral attack on Gascoigne, man. That was awesome. No, I, I'm not joking. You literally, it is it, the pig's visceral attack spot is in its ass. You come up and you give the motherfucker a colonoscopy. And it's as pleasant for him as it is for you. So basically, I have injured Old Yarnum now. No, not yet. You're in the Cathedral Ward. The Cathedral okay. Ward lets out into uh, the Upper Cathedral. Uh, old Yarnum 
it's kind of the central hub you'll be working from for most of the game. Okay. It connects to almost every area, albeit indirectly for some. Because it'll lead you down to the Forbidden Woods, uh, the Hamlet, if you know where you're going. Um, Killing Amelia gives you access to the most story-relevant zones. Technically, Old Yarnum is a completely optional area. Right. Technically. Actually, it's even... So, some of the harder enemies in the game at least for your stage in the game, won't even spawn until after you beat Old Yarn. Ah. Like the Snatchers, uh, right. don't even spawn it if you haven't beat uh, the Blood Starved Beast. And they are very fucking annoying. Okay, well everything starts giving you more blood echoes up here. Yeah. I'm like, where I, at the point I'm at, most of the basic enemies are giving me at least a thousand like blood echoes each. Unless they're really small enemies. Oh, well, it's like, uh... This, uh, masked guy with a cane, I just whammed him, then there's instantly 500 killed. Ah, there's a pig in the swamp. That checks out. The pig is aware of my existence. There is indeed a swampy pig. It is a swampy pig, yes. Swamp pig breathes poison. It breathes poison. So it's a port. It's a port. It's a port. Uh, right here. Fucker. Damn it! Don't put me under it. Alright, I got it. So I dashed under and past him, and then it dashed again and put me back in front of him. So yeah, 258 for each one of those assholes. What do you mean you guys would be down here? You two would come closer together and hit both of you. Fine. Give me the shiny. And I sure do wish I could find a fucking lantern or another shortcut. That makes 300 sets that I have now and uh. Oh, uh, you can get the, uh, fuck, what is it? The Black Church robes already, I think? That wouldn't surprise me too much. Yeah, you can get the Black Church outfit, uh, pretty quickly if you go towards, um, Amelia. Oh, um, to get to Amelia, I believe that you need to go speak to, uh, fucking... Gehrman in the Hunter's Dream, and he should tell you to ascend Odin Chapel, and that's that'll work for you. Jesus Christ! That was the stealthiest fucking pig in the world. Super stealth pig. I mean, he's being helped along by the fact that I was distracted by another enemy, and I have heads going soon, and they appear in the game part. So basically, sneaky bacon. No, sneaky sausage, there you go. Uh, some might call it a sneaky link, even. Get it? Because sausage. Uh, too stealthy souse. Alright. This has to lead me to something, right? Jesus fucking Christ, how long are these fucking woods? Please tell me I'm not about to accidentally enter a fucking boss arena. 
That's a boss arena. You can't fucking lie to me and tell me that's not a boss arena. Nope. Not unless I find a shortcut, because Jesus Christ is a long fucking walk here. You get your boss fight when I get my shortcut. Okay. He told me to go and seek a holy chalice. Okay, so, uh, what that means is... Okay, so you've got two options right now. Uh, you can get Jura's Emblem. And that should in Okay, actually, go to the, uh, the basin where you buy shit. And check all the options and see if you can find a Chief Hunter Emblem. Hunter Chief Emblem, uh, requires 10,000. Okay, so, you've got two options available to you right now, I think. You can go kill, uh, Bloodstarved Beast, um, and that will cause him to say, Ascend Odin Chapel, and that will open a door for you, or you can save up the Echoes to buy that emblem and open a door so that you can skip Bloodstarved Beast. Now, to get to Bloodstarved Beast, you're going to have to go through Old Yarnum and make the decision on whether you want to fight Jura or not. Uh. Well, either way, kill Bloodstarved Beast. Yeah. I have that or, like I said, yeah, save I up, ten, up. Save up the 10,000 souls, which isn't that hard if you're good. I'm already at 2,445, it shouldn't be that much harder. Yeah. And that would enable you to open the giant ass fucking gate. And that will, that path will lead you to Amelia. Should you so desire. Alright, so I got a tiny shortcut. It's not really a shortcut at all, if I'm being honest. Uh... I just need one more bloodstone shard and I can actually upgrade something, so, uh... What, what's my level just... looking like? I'm level 49. Alright, let's make a bad decision. I don't know what's in here. Oh wait, no, shit, I do know. This is the Shadow of Yarn. Fuck. Okay, I don't really remember how to fight you guys. Like, at all. I feel like repose are a good option for you. What's funny is that yeah, we play we play Dark Souls, we play Demon Souls, we play Bloodborne, and it's funny enough is it's all up to happy and in nature. Creature wise, for the most part. I would argue that uh Dark Souls is more Gregorian. Alright, so we're just going to repose to you until I get you down. So you're my big target because you seem to just want to swing your sword. Guy. And you know what? I can't hold swinging your sword against you, my guy. But I can say that it makes you the easiest fucking target of the game. Fuck me. You do hit hard. I back myself into a fucking corner. I need to pose desperately. Oh my god. They're doing something. Something happened. Alright, uh, I think I've entered some sort of secondary phase. Your sword is on fire now. I don't like that. Unfire your sword, good sir. And you, stop with the extendo arm. Oh my god, okay. You know, I would have been fine had this fight not turned into a fight with a fucking fantastic four. Alright, one shadow down. Please tell me they don't get back up. I desperately need them to not get back up. Alright, you seem to be going for sword swings more, so you are my next target. Oh good, you firebomb the area. I love that. Alright, my guy. Thank you for giving me a very easy opening. I am not a fan of how much reach you have, but I am a 
fan of how stupid you are. So if you could keep being stupid. Alright, I'm down to the last shadow. Oh my god, he summoned something! I was so close. I almost had this fucker dead. Damn it. I was so fucking close to having that boss fight done in one go, too. It sucks because there is no good shortcut back to them. That's a long fucking walk. I'm just gonna have to run past fucking everything and hope that their aggro leashes are f short. And that I'm not about to trail a whole fucking forest after me. Son of a bitch. Holy fuck, he's huge. That's what you meant by giants, wasn't it? Oh, the church giants? Yeah. Um, so to repost them, it's a little difficult, but... When they do their big swings, they frequently outstretch one of their knees. I can't remember which it is. Hit the outstretched knee, and it should knock them down. It's not easy. Like, at all. I'm not here for you, Executioner, so I'm just going to run right past you and hope you don't give chase. Dodge all the snakes. I'm running away to clown music, and you know what? I, I gotta say, kinda fitting. Just keep fucking booking it. Don't give anything a chance to hit you. You know where you're going decently well. You can pull this off. I believe in you, me. And that's the only person you need to believe in you. Are we fucking lost? Did I get myself lost already? God damn it, I hate this forest. God damn, two ogres ever got in time. Please don't kill me, pig. Please don't kill me, pig. Please don't kill me, pig. I'm good. First pig dodged. Second pig. We'll fucking find out. Second pig. Uh, bait the second pig out. Second pig, I need you to charge me, please. Or just scream. That works, too. I will go by you, uh, no problem. Fuck you, second pig. Second pig is very aggressive. Uh, sounds like second pig is maybe giving chase? Nope, I'm good. I don't see a summon, but I also don't think I need a summon as long as I play this right. Alright, the shadows are here. God fucking damn it, I got stuck in them! Motherfucker. This fight's gonna be a bitch from here on out. I got really close, and now I'm not gonna get close again for an hour, I'm betting. I mean, sucks. I lost 40,000 souls, but that's not that big a deal. I can make those back in, like, 10 minutes. I should have leveled up before I went in. On the plus side, I know how to book it there now, at least. Yeah.
elevator etiquette and just send it back up for your next flight. Now that I have a path picked up, it's not as bad to get through here. I'm just run right off the side over here. Hello, Executioner. Goodbye, Executioner. That's one giant dead. What's it look like if I stick to the path, actually? How about is the path? Not great if we're being honest. Um, actually, pretty fucking off. Awesome. Okay, so definitely don't stick to the path. Lots of giant fuck off snakes on the path, I've learned. But you know what? Once you make it past the giant fuck off snake, the uh, path isn't actually that bad. Son of a bitch, that snake is very aggressive and it follows for a very long time. Good to know. I swear to god, if it turns out I miss some fucking shortcut, I'm gonna be pissed. Bye, Pumba. Alright, we're gonna waste a fucking bile by doing it again, but... On the plus side, I've got no echoes to look for, and that's part of what was distracting me before.
Shadow of Yarn, I'm down. go buy a fucking level, I guess. I don't know why I'm shaking. Has it been that long since I ate? Because I, I didn't get to fight with that one. Feeling the valuable one fish. Let's move to the next song. But you know what? I should check my blood gems real quick. None of this is particularly appealing. What about here? It is. I don't even have another one of these yet. Don't even have another triangle yet. <laughs> Jesus Christ. The jump in with wildness there. Okay, let's see. Slow poison resist, frenzy resist, bolt damage reduction. I think I'd rather just keep it. Huh. Oh. I have two different beast rooms. Clockwise Metamorphosis raises HP. Blood Rapture Room. Visceral Tax Heal. Eh, all the rest of those feel situational. So I think I'll just hold on to what I've got. I wonder, if I do that here, will I wake up with, uh, missing health? The bullets. Oh, okay. Neat. lot of hits. And I'm not a fan of that. Post me. I have a lot of madman's knowledge. How many of those actually do I have? Twenty-five. Wow. have to worry about inside I get really you wouldn't give me another one for basically that entire fucking forest but the entrance of this fucking zone 20 feet one small little fucking passageway and I get one but the entire forest no fuck you Okay, 
that's one of those guys I killed already. Oh, he sees me. It is a definite that this bitch sees me. I mean, I'm not gonna complain if you wanna sit there and let me axe. I'm gonna come back. There was one right there. Will you also see me from down there? Okay. Oh, you actually you actually understand pathways and shit. Cool. I need to practice my repost on you. I mean, okay. Thank you for just chilling out right there. Being chill. I can appreciate how chill you were. <laughs> I return. I, I don't. I don't like this. I like them Dude, even less. I was going to go back and get every blood echo I had. Yeah. Yeah. I killed a boss and gained less blood echoes from it than I lost finding it. Oh no you don't, asshole. Mine! Alright, I think I'm at Bergenworth? Is this the fucking academy? Ah! You're a... Oh, that didn't work. That did not do shit. Please let me go. Do anything, I reckon because I have so little insight that that did nothing. Oh, you did, you did give me a... That, whatever that bar is, very full. Maybe concerning people. I'll figure that out in a minute, I guess. Okay, I know for a fact I'm near where you fight Rom, right? What the fuck is that? I don't like that. No, why are you you? Stop being whatever you are. I would very much appreciate it if you were not. Yeah, centipede looking motherfucker. Yeah, could, uh, could you not do this? Why? Why do you take so little fucking damage? No, I'm I'm good. I think we're good. I think we're good. If you, uh, what is that? Oh, that was you disappearing back into the ether after I killed you. Good. Don't come back. Stay gone. This grab attack doesn't really do anything, but I imagine getting too many of them would be not very cash money for me. Just 
so the big obvious thing that I would parry through normally, um, either can't be parried through, or it's, uh, it's very weird to parry. Okay, what's Giant Wrecking Ball Bastard? What do you mean? He's one of the church giants. Okay. Why Same principle, he's just me? faster. He's just faster? Yeah, you're talking about uh, the guy with the ball and chain around his leg that he uses to attack? Yeah, that's one of the church giants. He's exactly the same, he's just, his attack pattern's faster than uh, the other one. Fair enough. Alright, I made it to the school. Son of a bitch! I don't know what the fuck that was, but that one shot me. Oh, it's a hunter! I love fighting hunters. They're my favorite. It's like, oh man, every day I wake up and just hope, ah, uh, gee, I hope I get to fight a hunter. Man, I, I can't wait to, to finally fight this hunter. Throw me a d20. My D20s are put up right now. I don't even have my display it. dice near me. What? Randomize it then. Okay, uh, give me a second. I'm not in a great spot to be doing that. I am currently in the middle of uh, hostile enemy territory, but okay. Let me just... Alright, uh... Alright, uh, go. Seven. You find yourself at odds with yourself. Okay. Your sarcasm killed five children. I mean, well, it's not the worst outcome. Of very wealthy parents. Uh, I mean, we can afford another one. I run. Oh, I didn't have any of myself. Are you in 
come up here, or are you gonna be dumb like the other two and... be the dumbest bug people I've ever met. I've met multiple bug people. Oh, you know what? I don't have to come this way. I can just go straight to the inside of the school. I, I forgot about that. Oh, good. The hunter didn't pick up my echoes. That would have been really bad. Can you please come down here, sir? And not launch a volley of fucking magic missiles at me? At least I'm assuming it was you who launched all the magic missiles. My only real advantage is I have so much stamina at this point. Fuck you, Visceral! Goddamn, that did, uh, fuck all to you. Oh, thank god, I killed the hunter. I really hope there's not more of those bitches in here. I fucking hate fighting hunters. What is this? Why is there a bell here? What did I do? Okay, I think I'm summoning someone. Yeah, that's good. I think I'm summoning a helper. Why do I need a helper? <laughs> Why do I need a helper? Damien, where is the boss? <laughs> Damien, um, what are you here to help me with? Damien, quit touching yourself. That's inappropriate. Damien, your head is in a cage and I am confused. What are we doing, Damien? Are you going to follow me up the ladder, Damien? Damien does not understand ladders, so presumably not. Damien? Nope, Damien's just gonna chill out at the bottom of the ladder. Until I, I assume he disappears. Oh man, Damien, I, I really wish I knew why you were fucking. Damien, I wish I knew what the fuck you were doing in my life right now. Like, what is your goal here, Damien? I got the empty phantasm shell. Oh, Damien, 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 Damien. What, what are we doing here, Damien? Like, honestly, what are, what are we two as individuals doing here? Damien. Damien. How? Oh. Oh shit. Okay. <laughs> uh, yeah, okay. Alright, uh, I guess I'm moving on to my next boss fight already. We'll see how I do against, uh, fucking Rom. I am very under equipped right now to fight him. Or her. I can't remember. Uh, Damien, are you coming? Damien, I assume that you would be joining me for our boss fight. Oh, that's the first game. Uh, Damien, 
Um, I'm assuming Damien decided that he did not want to have any involvement with this. Oh, no, there he is. It just took him a minute to catch up. like, uh, bolt damage, right? I don't have my bolt shit equipped. back and they brought friends. And meteors. Oh god, he can summon meteors. Okay, Damien. It's you and me and me, really. Uh, you don't seem to be doing much, Damien. I'm not gonna lie, you seem kind of useless here, now that I've got you here. Send out their numbers a little bit, Damien. Damien! You weren't allowed to die, Damien. That son of a bitch is doing meteors at me. Okay, I'm gonna go in alone next time because I feel like my damage is good enough that without Damien I, I would have won that fight. And I'm really gonna hope that, uh, that that thing, that that hunter doesn't respawn, because I, I don't want to fight that hunter again. I'm gonna hope that he stays in his dream. Oh, but you know what? First, you are gonna equip bolt paper. Because I know this bitch is weak to bolt paper. At least I'm like 90% sure this bitch is weak to bolt. Actually, you know what, Damien? You can still come with. Because I'm bringing bolt paper, and I feel like that extra damage is gonna win it for us, okay? You just. You're a distraction. You will probably still die, but. That's a sacrifice I'm willing to make, Damien. Damien, do you ever... Damien. Are you coming? Damien. We have a boss fight to get to. Alright, fuck you, Damien. I'm going in alone, I guess. Damien. Alright, fuck you, Damien. Damien's a dick. Alright, my blood is behind you, fucker, somewhere. I just wanna grab that real fast. I think it's back here somewhere. At least. Also, I need to buy time while Damien shows up. Did somebody pick up my blood? Possible for one of you fuckers to grab my blood? can't see it because of the fog. Well, that's two dead dogs and a guy standing up there looking menacing. Oh, 
guys are missing if you're terrified of them. So I'm right beside where I want to do this too. Kidding me? I couldn't even find my fucking blood to get it back. Also, damn, they did hard. Rom's gonna take me a hot minute while I try to figure out what the fuck I'm doing. Is bolt paper what's good for Rom? with the two-handed form because two-handed has better reach. Also, Damien takes fucking ages to enter the fight. Bullets aren't going to make a difference. So I'll just wait for him to finish something. I'll catch up. No, Damien. Bad Damien. Monsters don't go up there. Dead already? You lived five seconds! Really? That's a dick move. Alright, so Damien has done nothing but fail me. Are you kidding me? That was absurd. Alright, we're not summoning Damien this time. He takes forever to show up and he dies way too quick to be of use half the time. And he boosts boss damage and life, so... He is not a worthwhile trade. He is bad. Weird. 
we have officially hit. Fuck it, I don't need him. We're doing it ourselves. Fuck you, Damien. Fuck you, old man in the chair. The fuck you wrong. My old man in the chair, you're, you're talking about, like, just like a random villager? Oh, no, he's an important uh, NPC. I can't remember what he does or why he's important, but he is important. Oh, you mean Garman? No. Now have three entire fucking waves of spiders just running around out there. There are so many goddamn spiders. was so fucking close. I got stuck on a spider and couldn't dodge. Alright, ignoring, ignoring the little spider seems to be working out for me, and not summoning that fucker, Damien, seems to be working for me. So I'm going to hold to those two portions. What? You can summon an old hunter? Yeah. But he's worthless. Most of them are, if I'm honest with you. Most of the, uh, Hunters uh, don't bring a lot to the table outside of distractions. Right. But if you need the distraction, it's not bad. But they do double the boss's HP. Right. And uh, they do make it do more damage, I believe. I could be wrong on that one. I know for a fact that you, like, increase boss HP. When he flips over onto his back, don't go for the attacks. Ah, fucking damn it. Sometimes those spiders are way more aggressive and sometimes they're not. I might have to go spend all my insight on fucking bolt paper. Or bolt paper, which, depending on how this attempt goes, is more than enough. I've gotten Rom almost dead twice.
Okay, so more werewolves. I've uh, went into that tomb area and opened up that bottom part. Yep. That's going to yeah, take you down to Old Yarnum. Are you fucking kidding me? That was some more shit. Maybe buying the flamethrower would be worthwhile for this. Because it is said to be kind of weak to flamethrowers. And I'm not... really using my gun otherwise. Because I don't know any of the counters for it. Or it's more things. It's a little fucking spider wings. On the plus side, this boss fight is taking none of my bullets. So that's... Get onto the fucking boss, please. But it's like one of those things I might before, before the door of Old Yarn and I might as well not. That's a thing. I mean, I can't use all 13,000 and 625 to upgrade myself. And wrong step. is a fish the first I've ever been in Bloodborne. I don't remember where to go now. Um, no, lantern's supposed to appear here somewhere. <laughs> God, I wish I could fucking see. Oh, okay. See I Hello, Lady of the Lake. Uh, wh what are you uh, doing? <laughs> Knocked me out. Good. I mean, I'm averaging like two bosses a stream almost. Right. 
Tell me, how good is the Kirk Hammer? I mean, it's all about what style you like. <laughs> hey, uh... Can I, can I go through that door? Are you gonna get upset at me for going through that door? I think you're gonna get upset at me for going through that door. I also think you're too slow for it to really matter. of blood. I don't know how to feel about that. I've already been to Yahargul. But I guess I'm back. The Spence is making uh, figure out when I'm going to hit you very difficult. Sorry if I whip on you. Okay, I'm just gonna let the game's uh, ambiance take over now. Indeed, the ambiance is over, amazing. Over uh, my normal stream music. You wanna see some like <laughs> If if I were the type who still set thumbnails for my videos, this would be the thumbnail. Like this Oh image. yeah. Oh yeah. Like turn on my stream stream for a second and just look. And let me know when you've seen it so I know I can move again. Yeah, yeah, I get that. Oh god, I think, I think storyline-wise, my next boss is, uh, is it the host or is it fucking, what's his name with the cage on his head? There's a hunter here, I heard that gunshot. Oh no, maybe it's just a normal. Whose gun probably hurts more than it has a right to. Because it almost always does. Oh, I'm finally getting chunks. Thank god I need some chunks. Fuck you, I can shoot you. Shit, there's an amygdala on that. Have you seen the amygdalas? No, I have not. <laughs> Just waiting to look. Hey Psycho, how are you? I'm officially the farthest I've ever been in this game. Rom took me like six attempts, I think. Make sure he's okay. I mean, that's the big. Uh, I did there. Shadow of Yarnum in like three attempts. I would have had it first attempt, but uh, I fucked up a little bit on the first okay. take. Well, I still gotta go over and get my boots later and a pair of socks. And then tell me. Oh boy. And then second attempt, I uh, I um. Uh, I won't lie, I was just trying to recover my blood, and so I, I lost everything. <laughs> I didn't one-shot every boss. You caught me. They're back?! And I don't like that.
I was unaware those guys were just gonna respawn. Well, Vamp is talking to me. Still there, bud? Yeah, I deafened while you were talking to oh, Jug. Oh, it was just minor crap. <laughs> that and Psycho joined, and I was catching him up on what was going on, and I was getting a little distracted, like, hearing both of you. I'm nope, I time. know what you do. You have a bell. I'm not stupid. That's Vamp. They're the one. <laughs> what did that say? The Mensis ritual must be stopped, lest we all become beasts. Yeah, I know. I'm sorry to disappoint you that I only, only in one run, uh, did three of the bosses. I know. I'm I'm sorry. It, it's a failure, really, on my part. I, I've let, I've let us all down. I think. Also, can I just say I hate the fucking forest? Like honestly, fuck the forbidden forest. Why you? Why you guys just gotta be everywhere? I hate you. Oh, sweet, more bolt paper. I burned through almost all of mine doing wrong. What am I hearing? Is it you? It feels like it's you. Oh good, there's another one of you. Can I? Ah! I'm good! <laughs> I thought I hit the roll there, but it turns out I did not. Can I? I can't hurt him. Hey, uh, you want to know something really embarrassing? I forgot the axe had an attack on the back left trigger this entire time. <laughs> really? Yep. Dude, okay, I'm, I'm gonna be honest with you. All you need from two-handed axe is spin to win. It's the best attack. Why do you think I use that fortification gem on the axe? Although, you know, I think I've beaten every boss in one-handed axe mode except for Blood Starved Beast. I think that is the only one who I did with the two-handed axe. Um. Stop to not do this. I didn't realize there was a second one of you, but that doesn't change the fact that I need you to not. How dare you insult the best weapon in the game like this? Thank you, Hunter's Axe, for being the best weapon in the game. I picked up a secondary weapon. Haven't used it once. That's how good the Hunter's Axe is. Oh, you know what? I lied. That second swing, that's actually helpful. Oh, okay. I'm never going to get used to the fact you guys are respawning now. Not a fan, honestly. Sit back down, please. So that I can go open this. While you recover. What the fuck is that floating in the background I just saw? Oh, no, it's just you jumping down. Okay. Yeah, 
I I don't like this whole everybody gets to live again thing. Nobody gets to live again. That's illegal. It's and so honestly hard. insulting. Does not open from this side. Good to know. We're leaving, Axe. As soon as I figure out where leaving is. Go back to sleep. As soon as I understand where I'm going, we're going there, okay? Is it this way? Going this way. Why did you turn your head? <laughs> well, okay, I mean, I guess it's like how in uh, Geist the Sin Eaters, the damage you had before you died to some extent is permanent. So, like, if you were crippled before you became a Sin Eater, you'll still be crippled afterwards because that's just who you were in life. Reminds me of uh, Geist the role-playing game. That is, that's the role-playing game I'm talking about. Geist the Sin Eaters is the role-playing game. So, like, if you were crippled or missing a leg, that wouldn't get fixed. Same... Like, Aja and Demi Human does the same thing. Oh, son of a bitch. Get the fuck off me. <laughs> I know, right? That, that is funny, Psycho. That is basically the truth. Where am I?! Fuck me! Fuck this- That is like- Oh good, you're you, you hitting me somewhere I can't even go. You know what? I'm gonna say fuck the blood moon. You know. No, don't, don't you ring your fucking bell. We're all gonna stop for a minute and just let me think. Okay? Just, Turn back where the hunter will face the hunt. Just give me a fucking second to not deal with all your bullshits and figure out where the fuck I am. Hey, big guy. I fucked that one up. Aw, oh, man, I just fucked up by walking through that door entirely. Everything about that doorway went poorly for me. But on the plus side, I, I get to restock some fucking vials, which I need. I need. Uh, do I do I risk the walk back? No, we're just gonna run past. We're gonna say fuck the walk back, and we're just gonna run past. I don't know what you do, but you have a bell, and I know that the bell works exclusively. They're exclusively a good thing. I'm not sure if I'm entirely honest with you. Oh shit, I didn't realize I was running low on uh, vials. Huh. Yeah, okay, that checks out. I do frequently sacrifice them for bullets, so that, that makes sense actually in the long run. Wait. Okay, so all I have done is discover a shortcut. That's what I am seeing right now. There's no. Oh, because it's this dude who was walking the patrol here. That checks out. Listen, I might, okay? Hello, big man. Because I'm, I'm going to remember what the timing is on that. What? I mean, it just works, okay? Psycho, it just works like that sometimes, you know? Listen, sometimes I'm a bit, 
Uh, sometimes I, I heal more than I maybe should. Like, sometimes I know I'll win a fight, but I'll heal anyways, and then other times I will completely ignore my need to heal. Because I, uh, because I'm dumb, okay? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I am stuck. I am Run! Ah. Fuck this noise, I'm out! Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Okay. All right. Holy crap! Hey, big man. Uh, you, you big man in around here? Oh my fucking god! He was lying in wait for me. Yeah. <laughs> you think Vamp is already here and now you? <laughs> Jack, you need help. You can't keep doing it. You can't live your life like this. I, I, I can stop whatever I want. I, I'm not, it's not a problem, okay? It's not. <laughs> My father never loved me. The only source of comfort I get is in these files. I'm stuck. I, <laughs> no, that was bullshit. That was some bullshit! I got fucking stuck in them! I'm mad. Whoever's on that rooftop's getting a stern talking to. That was bullshit. We're going home. <laughs> We're going home! And I'm looping the fucking- Wait, is Central Yarnum still fairly safe to loop? I'm going to find out! Wait, so will these guys start respawning now too? Does everything respawn now? I legitimately don't know anymore. I, I couldn't afford to go to Kansas in the first place, and it's like right next door. That's a lie, we're, ac we're actually closer to our Kansas. God damn! I still haven't opened that gate, and I remember doing that before I killed Rom last time. I know for a fact I've opened that gate before. Don't fucking remember when. Hello! It's... Sure? Is it in the Forbidden Woods? Cause fuck the Forbidden Woods. God fuck damn it, of course it is. I fucking hate the Forbidden Woods. Why are there so- why is the fucking Shadow of Yarnum boss fight, like, it gets a lantern, but nothing else does in there. And it's five feet from another lantern- wait, it's before the actual woods. Did I miss the shortcut wandering into the woods? Yeah, that- that sounds right. It also sounds like at this point in the game it would be completely useless to me. Wow, right through all, yeah. Give me that good blood. It's not useless. <sighs> Man, I don't even know anymore. I don't know what I want to fight. Okay, I'm just fucking surviving. Hey, pal. Oh no, you hit me. I broke all my life back. God, I love this axe. 
Yeah, I know. Killing everything like regular. You know? I know one of them involves uh, a prostitute, doesn't it? And also that I'm, I'm probably not gonna get it. Also, I think there's one on ISF because uh, clinic back. Prostitutes or the back of a clinic? Because honestly, both of them valid choices. So what you're saying is you like to take advantage of poor vulnerable women who have to sell their bodies for money to steal their umbilical cords? Wow, Psycho. I can't believe you. That's terrible. I mean, I would argue that if you are purposefully... If you're purposefully making unfair deals in an attempt to get something, that is still theft. Sure, it's a little bit better than out and out stealing it, but in ways it's not because of the psychological damage you could arguably put someone through in forcing them into such a deal. And is arguably a class. <laughs> it's illegal when a business does it. If they, if it can be proven that they did it. How bad are these wolves to deal with right now? Why do they have so much fucking life? They can't hurt me bad. They're just really fucking annoying. Also, I got stun on. Why are the wolves on the bridge there stronger than the wolves anywhere else in the game? Good question. Because those are stronger than the ones over by the Bloodstarved Beast. It's fine. I didn't mean to reset my loop this early. But it's fine. It's- oh, hey, I don't know if you saw, Psycho, I did highlight, uh, all of the bosses I've fought so far. With the exception of this stream. Last stream, I didn't get to a boss, so. I got trapped in the woods. I hate the woods. There. <laughs> this guy's a dick! I know, isn't it weird how people tend to go quiet when you discuss strange things like uh, taking advantage of prostitutes for medical supplies to steal their umbilical cords? No, I'm talking about the guy shooting at me, but, you know. <laughs> You're missing the entire conversation in chat. <laughs> Oh, I, I know the entire conversation. What That's what is you wrong get the with the best you, amount in bulk for doing? cheap? <laughs> I go really. Listen, how else do you think he affords to eat at Wendy's? Okay. 
Ace expensive. That worked out. I can't oh, even I... afford to eat at Wendy's. Alright, you fuckers. Well, there's one near your home. Yeah, I know. I have to travel like a mile to get to it. You do so little damage. But you're so annoying. Come back away from me, you bitch. Stand and fight me, motherfucker. There we go, that's the good shit. So many vials, so little time just trying to stay alive from this asshole. Oh, Vamp finally beat Gascon. He says, nice job. Did you beat Cleric Beast? Yes, I have beaten Cleric Beast. Nice. I was like, I know because when you showed up, you were still working on Gascon, so I wasn't sure if you had beaten Cleric. Yeah, I went and killed Cleric Beast first. I'm pretty sure that is the suggested order, so. Go on you there. Thank right. you, Psycho. I can stream this for probably another hour, then I gotta cook dinner, because I have to be awake way before, way early. I have not played the DLC, no, and Vamp, uh, this is his first time actually playing the game, really. Completely through. So did my uh, mentioning how many bosses I was beating finally drag you into the chat? Okay, you know what? I'm I'm going to do something that I don't normally do, but I'm going to say fuck farming for uh, echoes and we're just going to Okay, and small doorway. I mean, I've got so many of them. Going totally the opposite approach of what I went earlier. And we'll burn through the fours as well. Burn through the fours, murdering everything along the way. And then I guess I'll go back to the Forbidden Woods and. Would it be faster to go to the Forbidden Woods one and then work oh, backwards? One big giant freaking circle. Lovely. We'll work our way backwards. So yeah, Shadow of Yarnum was actually uh, way easier than I was expecting it to be. Old yarn is proving to be a pain in my ass. Oh yeah, it's going to be. And it's uh, shortcuts are kind of far apart. Hello, sir. May I interest you in our Lord and Savior, the Hunter's Axe? I know, it's a fantastic deal. Such a wonderful weapon. Throw your jars of this at me. <laughs> okay, okay. I'm stretching, I'm stretching. I mean, you go through killing enemies like normal, and this guy just starts sending like a gatling wave Check versus. What the fuck? You're using here is the way to the gate in Old Yarnum, by the way. There's a gate in. Wait. Gate in Old Yarnum. 
Hello. Damn it. Got you, bitch. I'm not going to lie to you. I have no idea where anything is in here. I don't even know where I'm going. Yeah. I've been in here. I do remember that now. I'm lost. Wait, maybe? Yes. No. I know where I am now. Okay, it's good. <laughs> Dragon walks five steps in the forest. I don't know where I am. I, I already lost sight of everything else. Go down to the checkpoint. Okay. Okily dokily neighborino, I will go back down to the checkpoint then. You want me to go over the bridge now? Alright. Okay. Okay, just gotta remember how to get through these areas. You can't go downstairs. Can't go downstairs. that my first time through here I didn't trigger the trap so I didn't know there was a trap like right there I didn't know there was a trap right there that's a dead end man it's like I'm exploring this zone for the first time again stick to the left as much as possible so every left I'm coming to I, I'm taking oh. it's like a maze go left every time soon you'll find the exit oh my god every time there's always a dog who runs into the fire Better off skipping these guys by going around the back. I mean, probably. But, this way I do. Hey! Don't be rude. Stop throwing shit. Didn't you try to shoot you guys? I thought you were. I'm not gonna lie, I did not explore these, uh, these woods as well as I maybe should have. Because I was just so burnt out on running this fucking cycle. I'm shiny. I, uh, I maybe didn't explore as... Can't climb ladders. I don't know what you're talking about, but okay. Free blood! Gotta love that free blood. Shiny. 
you guys... Is someone gonna come here? Do something about me? Hey, you, you know you want to come over here. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. Come on, bud. I thought I heard one of them say, what's he doing? Alright. But what if... No. Okay. You know what's funny? I was so paranoid and shit walking through here the first time, and then <laughs> I beat the boss, and now I'm all, yeah, fuck it. What's gonna happen? Man, asshole shooting at me again. Lovely. Oh, I, I want to go back to the dogs in cages? Okay. Damn. Oh! Wait. Yeah, okay. Maybe? Boop. I'm in a cave. Big drop. Other ladder across the cap. Okay. I'm gonna assume that that good luck means there's something real shitty in this. Ah! I was correct! The water is poison. Okay. I need you to come to me. I would come to you normally, but I'm afraid I cannot right now. The water you are in is poison. Sir, are you aware that the water you're standing in right now is poison? Oh. Don't be rude. Now come get out of your poisonous water and come fight me. You don't like me, I don't like you, you weird me out, you weird plummy man, get fucked. Hmm. I do have antidotes. Okay. I'm just gonna keep those handy, and I'm gonna pick out a path. Let's see, if I hit this, I can need some of the nastiness. Ah! Oh, right, big man McGee. He is a very big scary. Ah! We just. I am in no way prepared for these. I can't hit it. Man. Listen, it's the only solution I have. <laughs> I can't hit them with my axe. We did it! <laughs> Yay! I shot those leeches to death. You done murdered the leech leech. What's over here? I feel, I feel like there's gotta be something over here, right? Hmm. This is looking disturb- Oh, no, there's a little path over there.
there's something moving in there or is that the water there's something moving in there it's leeches there are leeches in there what's the area of torch water torch is a maybe i feel like torch will angle down if i need it to i don't know Back to the island. Wow. Yeah. Expertly done. Good job, me. Damn, you're so fucking smart. the ladder I hope I hope this is the right ladder it's gonna be awkward if I ran all this way to this ladder and it's not even the right ladder Jesus Christ how long is this ladder <laughs> good job drag you're so fucking smart oh God, I know no, I am listen, listen. This guy. I'm gonna turn my camera off for a hot second listen their brains I like this my brain are like this <laughs> on the camera just to do that bit. Oh, oh, I'm so fucking good at video games. I hope there wasn't a thing in there that I missed. Oh hey, tombstones. And a gate. And this. Why? Why, 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 why is that the weakest cold blood do I could get? Who was like, ah, oh, nah, man, they don't, they don't need the good shit. Fuck them. This is what happened. I found this first last time. Open the door, please. I'm so lonely. And where's this guy? Goodbye. What's down here? I don't remember. I don't remember a lot of things sometimes. Damn it, asshole. I don't know who she is, but I get the feeling you ain't dead. What? Where? Brain suckers are here. Oh no, I don't like these guys. I, I do not like these guys. And I think I have enough insight that they get special attacks now, don't I? Stop having so much fucking life. I've been hentai! Get up and run. Get up and run. Alright, you fucking. <laughs> Listen, I've got so many, uh, Madman's knowledge that I don't even care about my insight anymore. But I hate them so much. Wait, can I change which. Which. which I've thingy lowered I'm my at? insight down to two. Can I change my spawn? Or will that get rid of my blood? It's only like 20,000. I can get that back, no problem. I don't remember. I will find out now. Sometimes I, sometimes those guys are really easy for me, and sometimes they are. And needless to say, I never know which my brain is going to decide they are today. 
Right. Like a Roomba, except it goes zoom. So it's only a Zumba. Oh, I didn't do the jump that time. Hello, Mr. Uh, Brain Sucker. That is your. Uh, that is your birth name. Yes. Brain Sucker of the. Uh, clan or some shit. I don't fucking know. His third cousin's the mind player from D and D. Are you are you saying that Kanye calls himself the fucking Zumba? Is that is that what you're referring to right now, Psycho? No thoughts, no brain. I'm like a fucking Zumba, except they go fast, so they call me a Zumba. <laughs> Listen, I'm dropping my new mixtape. Top 10 rappers, even Eminem's afraid to diss. Number 1 through 10, me. <laughs> Why is in Zumba drop? Yeah, I know. Never, never has there been a hotter track than Zumba. <laughs> ah! I don't know what that was. I don't know where I am. Super hot fire. I spit that. Boss ass rhymes. I drop those. <laughs> Where am I? <laughs> Zumba, I remember that. Hey, my guy, it looks like your brain's been deflated. You should get that checked out, probably. Not the deflation. Oh, no. Oh, wait, we need our economy to deflate. Oh, uh, man, do you remember back in... and other things my parents still tell me? <laughs> do you remember back in 2004 when the Sonic caused the price, like... The rate of inflation to go up? Yeah, you can Google it yourself. Just search Sonic Inflation. Yeah, I, know, right? I know, right? I'm gonna hold off on checking out what's through that door. Poor, poor Sonic inadvertently caused the recession of 2008. <laughs> right. He just wanted a chili dog, but instead he collapsed the United States economy. I know, right? I don't like whatever that is. I don't like it. I'm gonna hit undo on your entire fucking life, my guy. <laughs> With that man like a Muppet. I feel so happy. Alright, I can't pick up the blood vial. Oh, I got a cane her summons. All right. Okay. Scroll. Seek pale blood to transcend the hunt. Man. 
shame I can't pick that up because I'm already carrying one that I never use. Ah, uh, jeez. Ah, uh, dang. Also, uh, just what sort of fucking... What's what... Speaking of Muppets, I still enjoy loudly impersonating the Swedish chef whenever my wife is speaking to her family in her native tongue. Well, I think I killed him. You killed who? Who do you think? He was up on top of a roof. Oh, you went for Jura? Yeah. Did you push him off? Accidentally. Okay, so what you gotta do to get his stuff is you gotta actually leave zone and come back to the tower to pick it up. It should respawn at the top of the tower if he falls to his death. I can't okay. believe you murdered Jura. He did nothing wrong. Dude, I wasn't trying to. What were you trying to do? I was just fighting him head to head like would be expected, but he just... Yes, no, that's how he dies. You kill him like that. Oh, well. I warned you that, like, <laughs> it's a whole fucking process, and I would tell you if you wanted me to. What the fuck is you this? You're supposed to dodge all of his attacks, then? You're supposed to dodge his minigun and run into the chapel oh, under. Gosh. It's progressing. I knew it. Oh, God. Don't you see? Oh, it's already too late, isn't it? <laughs> what the fuck? Do I... God, I know. I kill this, don't I? I kill her to get the umbilical cord? I murder the pregnant lady, right? Psycho, I need to know that I'm not debating murdering this pregnant woman for nothing. I murder this, yes? I'm about to just murder her. I, I can't see anything else to do with her. Okay. Thank you. I would have liked to known, so I found out. <laughs> Umbilical cords from a prostitute. Now it's a stream. Hell yeah, brother, we getting in there. Finally, a real stream I can sink my teeth into. Chock full of prostitutes and umbilical cords. <laughs> Fuck that wheelchair. Did you see me like bounce off of it when I jumped? Fucking strong ass fucking wheelchair. Listen, I didn't write all the sex crimes into this game. I am but a humble observer of art. Do I eat the umbilical cord now? Do I have to eat it? I'm gonna wait to eat it. I shall acquire more umbilicals, and then I shall consume them all at once. There, it, it is a weird process to unlock the real final boss. Am I, like, halfway yet? I feel like I'm halfway. Very well. Let me step. More strength. I should eat it. Eat the umbilical cord. Give in to your raw temptations. What separates a man from a monster? Oh, I, I know I eat it to- wait, is it gonna give me insight? Because that's the reason I'm holding off on eating it?
cause, cause I want to avoid getting insight for as long as possible. Ignorance is bliss in it. Yeah, exactly. So, part of me... <coughs> I did the witches. I did them regularly, you know, as, as kind of intended. Oh, kind Thank you. Well, well, only now and then. But she's a kind one. <laughs> and I... I remembered later, like... Oh? Do they get more... Aggressive? Forgive me. So the only thing he gets the powder keg hunter badge. I didn't badge think any. Uh, yeah, you get the powder keg hunter badge from him. But oh. I mean, now you can freely farm old Yarnum. Yeah. Ah. Uh, I was like, I wondered because I thought they could only summon up to three. So I just left the three summons alive and kept chasing them everywhere. I know it. I know if you have zero insight, they literally just stand still, basically. Is anything you can all have me? In awe of our stupidity. I feel like there are two other people I'm missing here. Okay, I know the little girl, if I send her here, she dies. And you get the Where's red up? ribbon. Have you been to the old hunter's dream? Not yet, I don't think. I don't think I've been there yet. Side door. The little door that goes up the elevator? Oh wait, is it at the bottom of like the jump puzzle? Like you fall to get to it? Oh yeah, I forgot you were like. Right? Blood and bullets. Oh. Their guns are so much more effective than ours. I didn't even need to do this. I just felt like it. Sit back down, bitch. How do you think like the blunderbuss actually does damage when it's used by somebody else? Yeah, all the guns seem to do so much da more damage to us than anyone else. Alright. So glad I'm during that. <laughs> I mean, I really didn't. Fact of the matter is, I could have just left them. Like, I could have killed them normally. I could have just kept walking past all of these people. But I decided that their death would please me. I decided to kill them. And they died because they were weak. So am I hearing the strong should live and the weak shall die? <laughs> no, not even the strong get to live. Only I get to live. This world won't be perfect until I'm standing in a puddle of blood and the entire world has passed away. An O2 
ocean of blood, a torrent. Oh, hey, I didn't kill this thing. Get back here. Oh, wait, no, I did kill you, but you fell to the abyss. Okay, we can go to the other side. Nobody makes it back from the abyss, Jimmy! Nah, that's fine. Nobody needs to make it back from the abyss. Time about this? Time about, about this? Bad. Perfect. God, I'm so fucking good at everything I do. Oh yeah, I've been in here. But you said there's a side platform. Oh, you know what? I think I have been there before. I don't think I've been there in this playthrough. I don't know. Yeah. I was gonna say, I don't think it was, like, really cra- hmm. I'm trying to remember where the fucking door is, because I know I've been there before, but not this playthrough, I don't think. Are you talking about that one down there? Fucked up a little bit, I think. Fucked up a little bit? Can I fix this? This way. Okay, so I phased right through that. Good to know that you just phased right through that, though. So Werewolves that do poison damage. Or is it bleed? Or it's frenzy? Poison. Isn't that the one that uh, gives you uh, better dodges? Yeah. Is mana? I got distracted by a notification on my phone. What? What? <laughs> what just happened? <laughs> oh my god, that was that was amazing. Oh my god, <laughs> what the fuck even happened there? That was- uh, thank god I got those echoes back. Vamp yeah. doesn't- Vamp's not screaming at the moment. Never seen him die. You- you did not see what just happened. That was fucking hilarious. That was amazing. The elevator just couldn't handle my greatness is what it is. I'm too strong for an elevator. Okay. Sure, with greatness, or was it the great apocalypse with the monks? I'm just too. Bam! Don't tell him. You just ill. You just totally illegitimized my blow. I know Bam's not streaming. <laughs> okay, so I actually need to drop That's off. The whole my... reason I came and joined him was because I wasn't. It is a rare occasion you will see me scream. That uh, was I bullshit! Huh? I fell onto a platform and then fell through the platform. <laughs> it's a good thing I'm not carrying any echoes, really. 
Otherwise, I, I might be frustrated or even annoyed. This is gonna take a few minutes. I can't believe Vamp has betrayed me like this after all we've been through. Oh man. This reminds me of the time you told Pineapple to betray me live on stream. Wait, can I? Can I? Is that glitch, like, repeatable? I don't care enough to actually ride that elevator that many times. Goodbye. Goodbye. Alright, bye. You told him to do it! Ah! Ah. <laughs> you encouraged him! You encouraged him? Okay, so a while back I was streaming Monster Hunter and I decided to, uh... I can actually, it's on the tapes. Um, I decided that, uh, I was going to steal an egg from every map we went to. And I was on my last map, and I was taking the egg back, and Pineapple was like, wouldn't it be a shame if someone uh, hit you right now, causing you to drop and break that egg? And Psycho told him, do it. Ah yes, I purposefully timed out my ad break just to get you. Well, that wouldn't have happened if you were subscribed, Psycho. <laughs> if you were a subscriber, that would... <laughs> and I have you recorded telling him to break the egg. And give in to the dark side. So, where are we now, Psycho? At an impasse. An impasse that can only be settled in a court of law. I have Vamp, your uh, defense attorney. Oh, wait. I'm prosecutor. Never mind. <laughs> Cat ran on the keyboard. So, every single sentence you expected me to believe was typed out by a cat that I don't think you actually own. Did he follow me down? I thought something just swung at me. I don't know. Maybe not. I guess I'm going crazy. Too far out. The speculation that your cat, not only that you don't have, was somehow smart enough to converse with another person and send multiple messages that said, do it, give in to the dark side, do it. Three different messages you expect me to believe that this cat... <laughs> to a cat case dismissed. I, regional Judge Vamp, have heard enough. <laughs> this man is a liar. Now, if, if you will kindly refer to the video in question, The Egg Betrayal Chronicles, um, you will see Psycho on record telling him to do it, and then... And then saying, I can't believe he would betray me, too. Now, what, 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 what is your defense for that? Where am I right now? Where did I just land? Did did some monstrosity fueled by ice cream should not have been fueled by ice cream. It should have died a long time ago. Ah. Eh, crap, that's gonna hurt. 
It's fine. Heal. Oh yay! I right feel like there is a better alternative to what I'm doing, but also, who the fuck has my blood echoes then? Dude, sometimes they just disappear. Okay, I don't even fucking know. It's happening once or twice where they they're not on a person, but they're not anywhere. So, um, what what's your refutation to the part where you admitted to encouraging him, and then were shocked when there were consequences and he? left you with before mentioned consequences and in fact indicted you in said consequences. What's your answer to the fact that your partner in crime ratted you out? As some might call him a rat fink, that rat fink bastard some might say. Okay, so that worked a little bit, until it didn't. Well, Psycho, I, I'm waiting. And before secretly Psycho went back to go look at the highlight. I would propose that after your wild accusation that I do not own a feline when in fact I do. How could you possibly expect the jury in front of you to believe anything you say? Do you take them for fools? Not once did I posit that it wasn't possible for you to own a cat. I posited that I don't believe that you own a cat. See, these are different things. One is a personal belief I hold. One of these is more of a personal belief. Do you believe that this jury is such a fool that they will accept your muddling in their own affairs? That they are not smart enough to see through this emotional manipulation? This is gonna hurt. It wasn't so much an accusation as a question of, do you own a cat? Which I don't believe you do. It's not an accusation, it's a statement made from my own place of belief. Now you're going up to the hinges, yelling at the jury and myself? And what? Uh, an excuse? Uh, an attempt at righting some form of wrong in your behavior by manipulating them into believing that you could possibly have not done such a thing. Man, I'm just sliding off everything here. What, what say ye to that, Psycho? Additionally, how could we possibly expect a jury to believe what you say when your own name is Psycho? Someone mentally unwell. Man, I really probably should look around for a different solution to the problem I am currently facing. Let's actually stop and take a second to just look around to pause it how I get over there wherever right there you know what fuck it can I survive this fall what 
What? I thought for him and I was gonna survive all that with the way I just kind of kept stopping and starting the fall again. I knew you had fucking paragraphs over there. Okay, so the problem is I'm like sliding off the wall itself and it's pushing me farther and farther away. <laughs> yeah? You're like, I'm about to go past the bar so that I can come back to this fucking conversation to prove you wrong. <laughs> Pyro's about to start a new... Psycho's about to start a new fucking speedrun strategy. And that's, uh, become a lawyer percent. <laughs> Deathlessly, like, challenge runs and stuff like that are generally categorized in the same vein as speed runs. Yeah, you know they are. And that's not true. You've done a speed run before. Or do you not remember fucking Driftless Percent? I never did submit my run to that. You mean to tell me that you don't count beating Crash Team Race? <laughs> you mean to tell me you, you don't count beating Crash Team Racing Driftless as a, as a speed run? You mean to tell me you don't think that's a legitimate claim to fame? Okay, so I feel like part of my problem is that, nope, okay, goodbye. Okay, so you do die. <laughs> Here's the thing. I think if I had actually taken the time to submit it, I think it I think it, it could have been a category. Intense and slow as hell. Ah shit, ah shit. I have got exactly three minutes to prepare for my next intense jump trick. See, the timing is very precise, but it's not going to look like it. <laughs> because I've got three minutes to mentally prepare for this next trick. Here's the thing, maybe, can I, can I maybe survive it if I come at it? Ah! No, okay. The corner cutting and wall hugging would be pushed so far though if the world record players got into it. Exactly. Someone, someone needs to send it to, what, what the fuck is it, Dashy? Nah, I fucking like, Dashy, one of the speedrunners for it. 
can't remember. It's been forever. Since I, I've looked at a fucking Crash Team Racing speedrun. Alright, so I think that fall is just too far to survive. I'm going directly for it. Regardless of my life. I think it's just the terminal velocity. Man, you know who 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 would be great for it? Small Ant. Small Ant loves dumb fucking challenge rooms, but I don't think they do it. <laughs> okay. Um. Let's see here. What is maybe a better all? Can I can I hit that and survive? Yes, made it. Man, I made that so much harder than it needed to be, really. We did it! Is there a lantern here? I don't know. There is! Hello, lantern. Uh, boop. What's this? Oh, cool. Another third of an umbilical cord. I have two thirds of the umbilical cords now. Yes, I can finally be a doll cosplayer. Yeah, I've got the prostitute in the church. Yeah, I know. Keep her alive? What do you mean, keep her alive? Am I missing something? Is there a way for her to die? Is there a way for everyone to die? Not what I meant, but okay. Fair question, I suppose. Is there like a base assault I'm gonna have to deal with? The base assault demon. Ah yes, how could I forget the, the infamous base assault demon. Spend some of this insight to get paper. What the fuck? I don't... Wouldn't it be base assault beast in this? Huh. I don't know that was the B A B exactly. Oh uh, man, you do the B A B yet? <laughs> no, I'm I'm doing B A B skip. Later, nerds. I knew there was someone around. Turns up, he's like, what? what? What am I supposed to do here? Ah! 
You even have to kill the one guy. You have to kill the fucking, uh, dwelling thing in the church. I, I can't remember what the fuck he's called. Come on, I've done enough I can walk around that rude. Saying my ass is fat? Damn. Almost thought... Almost thought Sigma was in chat. Almost, right? <laughs> There's times where I miss Sigma. He never really showed up to my chat. So. Really more, uh, Quasar's regular. But he does say I have a fat ass. Those things that they need to calm down and keep the fuck light on off. Sit down, bitch. Do nothing. You see that style, motherfucker? Damn right, you died to that. God, I'm so much better at everything in life than you. Well, you know what they say, you open one door and you don't know where to go in your life anymore. One door, and then just a few more. And then you can be lost like me. Man, I sure wish I knew where anything was. Hey guys, uh, it's been a little while. Downstairs. I've been down here. I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, I'm pretty much trying Man, to figure out I how to. I sure do wish I knew where anything fucking was. But instead, I've just got this train of people following me. Man, do I wish I knew where I was. Do I let you grab me? You grab me? I got the Kanehurst invitation. I can go do that, can't I? <laughs> Maybe that would be a better use of my time, you know. trying to figure out where the fuck to go next. Oh no, I'm, I'm struggling with where the fuck to go next. You. Will you kill me? No. Chair. Yeah. No. Down. No. Man, I sure do wish I knew where anything fucking was in this world. I struggle with concepts such as space and time and have I been over here? I don't think I've been over here. You okay. No, I have. Oh wait, mate. Nope, I guess I have not fight. I don't remember a laser, motherfucker. God, do I not remember a fucking laser? Oh, 
Looks like my case is trying to figure out where to go after this, considering I've been where it takes me to a ladder and then back right back on up, but it's getting aggravating. Man, did I not remember there being fucking lasers. Never go to that rock. Okay, so now we go out and over here. And then... Nope, I'm lost again. This way? This way. And to the right, and then across. I did it! I found my way back. I solved my own being lost puzzle. And then I immediately jumped into a laser. God, I'm so good at fucking being. I have at least an IQ. Man, did you know that the dude who invented, like, the IQ test immediately regretted it? Yeah, because he found out he had an IQ of 52 or something like that. No, 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 nothing like that. Uh, more because it was being used as an excuse to, uh, justify eugenics and shit. Yeah. And he's like, uh, no, that, that's not what this was supposed to be at all, and actually I find that there's not really that much of a merit in measuring someone's intelligence with this test. You can't really quantify intelligence. Uh, it, it doesn't really work like that, I find now. That I have created this test, and it's honestly done nothing good for anybody, I think. But now everyone's like, I have an IQ of a billion. It's like, that's not a number. Ah! I survived! Run! Ah! <laughs> Man, I wish that laser would kill anything that wasn't me. Oh, you guys, you guys are just gonna chill up there? I'm gonna head off, Bob. Alright, see ya. I do not yeah. like that those guys are just chilling up there. Did I? I had a boss. No way those guys are just chilling up there. Oh no, I'm in a lantern. Even better. Oh hey! I got locked in prison down there! Yeah! That is where I is. Hey, bud. You're gonna... Are you, are you gonna shoot me with lasers? No. Or are you just chill? Okay, so I hit him. Uh, I died to lasers. Ah! I was not prepared for the spooky dog. The dog spooky. Jesus Christ, the dog is fat. Shot 
twice. Oh, so it could have just been poked at the big guy. Or the guy up top could have respawned, I guess. That is that is another thing that could have happened. I'm probably gonna give this zone like one or two more runs and then call it for the night. Treasure! Also, I should probably go upgrade my axe at some point. Because it is starting to get a little... gonna talk about that. I was right, he did respawn. <laughs> I'm not a fan of this. Uh, no. He stole my lantern! You broke my lantern! That's... That's so fucking rude! Oh my god, there's so many! I need to bait this one into making an attack. Son of a bitch, one of them had lightning?! Fuck this room! We'll take one more shot at him. And then I'll uh, probably call it for the night. I can't believe they stole my motherfucking lantern. Can you believe this bullshit? So I can at least get that opening consistently. Because he seems to always start with his back to me. Damn it, was that a fu- I'm still alive?! Alright, 
Alright, we're just gonna use tunnel exploits. <laughs> Space? Son of a bitch, that fucking cannon is rough. Do all of them respawn is the question. Like, if I don't kill all of them, do they keep coming back? Actually, do they just keep respawning in general? I don't see that guy anymore. So I'm going to hope that the answer is not respawn. Oh, oh, God! And... Bitch. I gotta deal with all of them now. God fucking damn it. I've got one down, but unfortunately these two are harder. Especially because apparently now that he's dead, they're just gonna aggro as soon as I walk into the room. Okay, I might just need to cheese the staircase like I do against the uh, snatchers. He survived that? I fucking hate this zone. Everything about the Unseen Village I hate. Alright, and on the note of losing all my fucking echoes because of that bullshit, I'm, I'm gonna call it a night. It's late, I got work in the morning. I think, I think this is enough. 
Good night, Psycho. I'll give you a minute. <laughs> yeah. I enjoyed having you here. It's always great to see you. You have a great night. Good luck with your uh, duels. 